What's up guys and welcome to back to back Samsung news folks it's time to get ready for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Fold 2. Today's news is definitely a good news for those who are waiting for the next big thing from Samsung so this news is coming from South Korea. According to industry sources Samsung has begun to prepare for the launch event for its Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Fold second generation as planned for August. As you guys already know we all are going through a global situation and because because of this a lot of things can get delayed but Samsung is not backing down they're still working hard towards the Galaxy Note 20 as well as its next fold device and they're still coming right on schedule. The preparations are underway for the upcoming Galaxy Note launch and there is no delay. But as far as a physical event is concerned, things are still yet to be discussed. Samsung is considering doing a online event. So regardless of the physical event, we're gonna see these devices on time. The same report mentions that Samsung could announce these devices as early as July. Normally, Samsung always announced the Galaxy Note phone in the month of August. If they do announce it early that could mean that there is something planned for later down the year again that is purely a rumor now for the first time the report actually mentioned something regarding the specs of the galaxy note 20 device so we could be looking at a 7 inch display with an upgraded stylus pen and a possible under display camera this would make this phone the world's first true full screen phone without a hole or a notch. Again, this purely is a rumor at this point. I personally think that Samsung will stick with a punch hole panel. It's kind of early for that technology to be ready. And even if it's ready, Samsung will most likely deploy it on the Galaxy S21. Considering everything that is going on, I have a huge respect for Samsung, especially the workers who are working and making sure that everything is on time. So get ready and get excited. Also in the news, Samsung is about to launch some new affordable 5G phones in the United States. So these are Galaxy Galaxy A71 and Galaxy A51. Because of 5G, they have upgraded chipsets. So you're looking at Snapdragon 765 slash Exynos 980. Yes, once again, they have Exynos in this mid-range lineup as well. Now, a device with the name Galaxy A Quantum was certified, which has a similar model number as the Galaxy A71 5G. This might be a same or a different device, we don't know, but I have to say Galaxy A Quantum is a really interesting name. It definitely fits on a futuristic Samsung device, but that's just my thought. Now, in response to the recent Exynos slash Snapdragon drama, Samsung has given their official response. According to Samsung, both Exynos and Snapdragon processors go through the same strict and rigorous real-life testing scenarios in order to deliver a consistent and optimal performance over the entire life cycle of the smartphone. Basically saying that these are equal chipset, but really they are not. Qualcomm is better, which is why Samsung is actually shutting down its custom CPU division in favor of standard ARM Cortex CPUs, which is what Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 also utilize. Based on this this move, Samsung knows that Qualcomm is better than Exynos and with AMD coming to deliver a new GPU, I think Samsung definitely has a chance to compete in the future. So that's all the news we have. Definitely a good news for those who are waiting for the Galaxy Note 20 and the Fold 2 coming on point as expected. Huge respect. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.